eBrary, one of our ebook providers, now allows you to download ebooks to use offline. You can download a chapter, a section of pages, or the entire book. Chapters and page selections are downloaded as PDFs that you can't keep. Before you can download any portion of the book, you must set up an account with eBrary. That way eBrary can apply copyright guidelines and limit the download to no more than 10% of the book. You can also download the entire book to use for 14 days. But, you should only do that on your personal computer, tablet, or smartphone. To download the entire book and be able to read it on any of your personal devices, you need an additional account with Adobe. And now a demo of downloading a chapter. The easiest way to find books to download is to go to the catalog under Quick Links. Enter your search, and if you want to make sure it's a book that you'll be able to download, add and eBrary to the end of the search. Look over your search results and pick out a book that looks interesting. Click on it, and you'll see a choice that says Connect to an electronic book accessible through the World Wide Web. Follow that link and it will open the book in eBrary, showing you the title page and the table of contents on the side. You can scroll through the table of contents and jump to any chapter that looks good to you. Scroll through, and if you decide that if this is something you would like to read later, you can download the chapter by clicking the Download button. To download anything, you have to have an eBrary account. After signing in, you'll see your download options. You can create a PDF of any chapter of the book, and all the chapters are listed in the drop-down menu. You can also create a PDF of up to 60 pages. This is eBrary's way of complying with copyright. You could also download the entire book, but we'll cover that in a different tutorial. Right now, let's create a PDF of the current chapter. Click OK. And depending upon your browser, it will start to download the PDF immediately or ask you if you want to keep the file. Once the PDF is downloaded, you can click on it and open it in the Adobe Reader. Here you can read it, you can print it out, save it to your flash drive, or email it to yourself.